Hello, good morning. Today we are going to do acid and base. And to know what is acid and base, the key to understanding of acid and base, we have to look into what we call the water molecules and find out how they behave, the water molecules. But before going there, I would like to tell you the measurement of acid and base is measured by what we call the pH value. Now, for example, a potato, one kilo of potato, you always measure by kilogram. We say five kilograms, six kilograms, ten kilograms. But we measure the acid and base uh, according to the value of pH value. How much is the value of this acid? Okay, they will say two, pH value is two, or pH value is three. So that's how we measure. And some of the materials that we have here is vinegar, 2.6. If it is 2.6, the lesser the pH value, the more acidic they are. So we have an acid called vinegar. This is a vinegar. We use it for, um, for a food. To Suppose you want to cook nice meat and you want to make it soft. You put vinegar so it will break up the meat. And the pH value is 2.6. Very acidic. Now we have here cucumbers, 5.7. It is acidic, but... It's a good food. It is not too acidic. It is very light in acid. So this is a cucumber. Mmm. Very good. The next one we have chili. 2.8. Very acidic. This is king chili. And this is very, very bad for our health. Sometimes people like to eat well. But it's not that good. Bitter gold. Very bitter. Ooh, you don't feel like eating. But good for health. Because it is very basic. Tomatoes, onions, these are uh, towards the acidic, but it is good for, for our health. Now, I just want to show you here, more basic, more base, the color is violet, uh, blue. So these are light. These are not that too basic, but this is very basic. So 11, 12, 10, these are quite base. And green is neutral, and this is where the pure water forms. Pure water is neutral. It is neither base nor acid. And here you have um, red, very base, very acidic. Yellow, my acidic. So this is how the color formation, and then you see, uh, sometimes you, you can find out using what we call the litmus paper, but we should do later a little later about that. So we keep in mind. And when you go to a doctor when you're sick, the doctor will tell you eat food which are not acidic, like cucumber, chili, no, bitter god. Such are the food they will recommend the doctors. Now let us come to this place where we need to understand acid and base through water molecules. Now I've drawn here some water molecules. There are two H2Os, in fact, there are three of them. There is one more here. So there are three water molecules. Now, in a beaker, if you take water like this, there will be a trillion and trillion of water mo molecules. So many molecules. But I'm going to only take three because I can't draw more than that. Now, if I take here trillions of water molecules, what happens is they combine, they get attracted to each other. But they attract in such a way that oxygen gets attracted to the hydrogen. So this is, this is oxygen and two hydrogen, oxygen, two hydrogen, oxygen, two hydrogen, so they get attracted to each other. What happened is oxygen has got more protons, so I will write P here, more protons. And therefore, they have more protons, they are positive, and they are going to get attracted to negative electrons. Here, hydrogen has got only one proton, therefore it's not able to attract more electrons. So most of the electrons will try to be on the side of the oxygen. And therefore, oxygen becomes a little minus. It is not completely minus, but the negativity, the because of the electrons, the negative impact is more. Whereas hydrogen, which is uh, also a balanced electron, but since the electrons is getting more attracted towards the oxygen, this hydrogen becomes a little positive. So therefore, minus and negative they attract themselves and therefore they get stuck. These are called polar, polar attraction. Unlike the, what you call be the ionic 
ionic attraction, ionic attractions are they will plug the electrons, they will steal the electrons. Here they don't steal it, they can't steal it. And therefore they share, but always there's a polar. Some part is more negative, some part is positive. Now, compare if you take a trillion molecules, a million, thousand, trillions of molecules, there'll be some time what happens is these hydrogen, this this is the one. This hydrogen atom gets detached, leaving its electron because this is negative and therefore it leaves its electrons and the hydrogen that is the proton, this is actually hydrogen ion. It leaves its negative, this is hydrogen, I'll just put ion, hydrogen ion. Okay, let me draw big. Hydrogen ion. H-I-O-N, hydrogen ion. So this hydrogen ion detaches itself from here and comes here. And this is how h 3, 3H, O, but I have to put here plus because it is an ion. Hydrogen has left its electron and therefore it is positive. And therefore this becomes OH negative. This is called hydroxide. Hydroxide with a negative charge. And this is called hydronium. And this is what happens and in a beaker, let's say if you take a beaker of uh, where you, can, you have 10 to the power of 7, that is 10 million molecules. Suppose if you have 10 million molecules of water here, out of that usually it happens one will be hydrogen. So 10, mole 10 millions of water molecules, there will be one hydronium, H3O. So this is how we find in water. But if we are to calculate with a number like 10 to the power of 7, 10 to the power 10, 10 to the power 11, it becomes very tedious and therefore they use what we call the pH value. The pH value is nothing but the negative log of hydronium. Hydronium concentration. Concentration or uh, it is also called hydronium or hydrogen ion. Now it looks very tedious but it is very simple to understand because we use log. Whenever the numbers are very high, it becomes very difficult to write all the time. So when you use log, it makes it very small. So the pH of water, we are going to look at the pH of water is that minus log of... And now what is the concentration of hydrogen, hydronium? 1 out of 10 to the power of 7. So in 10 million water molecules, there will be, we can find one hydronium, very less. And therefore pH value of water is nothing but minus log of 10 to the power of minus 7, that will give minus log of minus 10 to 7, is nothing but minus 7, minus to minus plus, answer is 7. And therefore pH of water is nothing but 7. So we have found the pH value of 7. This is taken as the neutral by the scientist and the pH value of if the pH value is less of other materials they become acid if the pH value is more than 7 it becomes base. So this is what happens here. Now we are going to look at the acid and base. So what we are going to do here is I'm going to take this is a hydrochloric. Hydrochloric is an acid. It's a very dangerous acid. It can burn your skin. You have to be careful. So what happens when you add with water? We'll keep this in our mind and look at this. When you add with water, what, it, what happens is hydrochloric gives out this hydrogen 
and therefore this hydrogen goes here and from the chlorine it leaves this electron and a hydrogen ion is formed. So this is an hydrogen ion. This is a hydrogen ion. This is the first step it takes place once you mix with water. It because of the reaction there, chlorine, which was actually which is was minus here and which is plus, it become it accepts this, an electron and become normal and kicks out this hydrogen ion. So when the hydrogen ion is there, it, it becomes here chlorine and plus you can get H. 3O because hydrogen ion is going to the water molecules. There will be, of course, plenty of water, uh, water molecules are there, and therefore it goes and attaches with one of them, and hydronium is formed. And what we have is here hydrochloric plus H2O will give you hydronium, plus there will be water, and plus chlorine will be formed. This is very important because what happened when we look at the pH value of hydrochloric acid. So imagine we take another um, beaker with hydrochloric acid and scientists have found out when you take a beaker of hydro hydrochloric acid you find in these molecules you find, uh, you can add with water or whatever it is, what you will get is out of 100 molecules, out of 100 molecules, we will find one hydronium or hydrogen plus ion. Hydronium or hydrogen plus, it's a, more or less the same thing because this will form hydrogen, hydronium. <coughs> so here we see that uh, in, in water as such, we will get one hydronium out of 10 million. But in the case of hydrochloric acid and water, you find in 100 molecules, we will find only one hydronium. So when you take the pH value of this, pH value is equal to minus log of this concentration, this is the one, one out of 100, that will be pH value of minus log into 10 to the power of minus 2 because this is 100 means is equal to 10 to the power of minus 2. No, 10 to the power of 2 when it goes up 10 to the power of minus 2. So pH is nothing but minus 2, minus 2, sorry, minus into minus 2 is equal to 2. And therefore, this is the pH value of hydrochloric acid. Similarly, when you have this uh, sulfuric acid, H2SO4, this is sulfuric acid, and then you add water, what you get is, we get, um, we get HSO4, HSO4, and therefore it gives hydro hydrogen ion out, and then it forms hydronium plus of course, water will be plenty, so we'll, we have to put water. So this is what happens. Now, therefore, what are acids? Acids are defined as hydrogen ion or proton donor. It donates anything, any material that donates hydrogen ion. It is not hydrogen, it is hydrogen ion or a proton donor because why, why I call it proton because hydrogen has got one proton and one one electron so when it donates it, do, it donates only this hydrogen with no electron with, this electron will not be given so when the electron goes off it will become plus hydrogen plus and therefore this is basically a proton because hydrogen has got one proton no neutron so therefore it's any material that donates hydrogen ion or proton is called an acid. And usually they are sour. And they can be very, very dangerous, corrosive. So this is our understanding.
sulfuric acid, hydrochloric acid are very very strong acid. Like uh, um, acetic acid, they are milder, but these are very strong acid. So we have seen the pH value also of hydrochloric acid. Now let's come to sodium hydroxide. Well, as you know, we can be seen here, sodium hydroxide is a base. And therefore, what, what happens when it reacts with water? Now, there is no chemical reaction, but sodium and hydroxide will be split apart. So let's see. So what happens here is when it is mixed with water, hydrogen is taken by sodium hydroxide and it separates them sodium which was positive here and negative here because of the attraction hydrogen is taken and it separates them into sodium plus hydroxide sodium become plus this becomes minus now, um, this is a little difficult to understand because you will learn in higher classes. What actually happens is, uh, this is called dissociation. They take it apart by accepting, but the important thing is, by accepting this hydrogen ion, okay, this is hydrogen ion. From here, this hydrogen ion is taken in to break in. And what it gives is, uh, what it gives is sodium plus hydroxide, and then you will also get water and plenty of heat and plenty of heat but the important thing is you have to remember this so what actually happens is um, suppose this is sodium the water comes in and blocks this one and all the water will be here water will be here and this hydroxide is taken out uh, and then produces a lot of heat for this class, you don't have to study all these things, but what is important is that sodium hydroxide accepts hydrogen and in accepting, it breaks into sodium and hydroxide. So what is it is accepting? It accepts the hydrogen ion and use the hydrogen ion up. And to look at it here, a little more into detail about this is this mm. we get if you have a beaker here and you have sodium hydroxide and water added to it what happens is you will get one since it is it is using if you have let's say if you have 10 to the power 12 that means one followed by 12 zeros that is called a trillion a trillion molecules if you have trillion of molecules of water trillion of molecules now when you sodium hydroxide is eating up those hydronium which is there in the water so you have to put trillions of molecules there will be one hydronium So the concentration is very very less, the concentration is very less and therefore the pH value here, the pH value of uh, sodium hydroxide is nothing but minus log of 10 to the power of minus 12, that will give you minus into minus 12 will give you 12 and therefore this will be sodium hydroxide. So Hydrogen ion is accepted and therefore hydrogen ion or proton acceptor is called a base and it is bitter, base are bitter and also they can be corrosive and they can be corrosive. So this is very bitter. So this is what we know now and through the concentration of the hydronium we are actually finding out how base 
they are or how acidic they are and we use this log system the mathematical log system because it becomes very easy to calculate very very high numbers 10 to the power of 7 if you're going to say the it, you know the acid is 10 to the power of 7 pH it becomes very difficult for common people so 10 to the power of 7 is nothing but we put it 7 so the pH value of uh, neutral is 7 and so on and so forth.